scale of one to ten, ten being the best, how's your slow speed scale? Slow speed. One to ten, ten being the best, how would you reach your slow speed skills? How would you rate yourself slow speed on that motorcycle? guys so I'm about to uh, head over to the practice session location um, right now I think it's just gonna be myself and Barbara CVO 19 because a bunch of people from here canceled for different reasons um, so but there's a bunch of people that are meeting us uh, in Charleston South Carolina so still taking the ride taking advantage of this great weather and attempting this two-hour ride with these bad uh, hips that I have so I took some anti-inflammatories um, and I took some Tylenol, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it works out. Sometimes they're fine, and then sometimes within 10, 15 minutes, I start feeling it, so. But Violet is, uh, I shined her up yesterday, or last night, I should say. You know, gotta represent. Can't take the girl out of here looking any old sort of way. So I'm getting ready to get on her. I got everything packed up that I need. My new uh, modular helmet for this ride. And of course, that's what I prefer to be, have one, especially being on the highway for two hours. Um, it's nice out, but if it gets cool later, that's always gonna be the best thing, right? Something covering everything. guys got a little little bit of hip action right there just getting on the motorcycle but that's that's normal go get some gas Good to see you guys. How you feeling, Dave? Uh, a hell of a lot better. Good, good. All right, guys, it is now 10 minutes after 11, and we're still in this parking lot. Why? Because we got some people, we got some stragglers. We got one more guy, guess who it is? Guess who it is, my friend. He lives in my subdivision. I passed his house, his motorcycle was in the driveway. He's late. But anyway, we got Dave here. 
We got Kevin, not the late Kevin, the early Kevin. <laughs> we got Gabby, Barber CBOs. Let me see that shirt. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you for the support. We got Larry. I forgot your name already, man. Tony. Tony. We got Tony. Of course, we got the other half of Gabby, Barber CBO 19. What's up, guys? In the building, baby. There we go. And the motorcycle is clean now. Yes. Got the details finally. Woo! All right, all right, all right. All right. So we're going to strap up. And if Kevin don't see us on the way out, it is what it is. I mean, come on now. Tardiness. I just, it, 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 it makes my ass itch. Tardiness.
right, guys, we made it to uh, Rodney's, Rodney Scott's barbecue. And we got some preloaders, the VR preloader sitting here. We got James over there. James' bike is in the shop. Let's check out these bikes before we go in. And this bike right here. Tony, you a VI preloader or a preloader? I have a preloader. We got a preloader's bike right here that was supposed to be in Poole, Georgia the last six months. It's like a fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> he has been to Poole, but not with the motorcycle. Yeah. It's a beautiful bike. I'd love to see it make a U-turn. We can make that happen before I leave, right? What you got there, James? Brisket sandwich? Brisket. There we go. I think I'm, I think I'm getting the same thing. Uh, with the tricolor right here. What's your name, ma'am? Elva. Elva? You, yes. you have a problem being on YouTube? No. Okay, so let me get closer to you. I don't want to talk over his food. Elva, you, now here, this is a new trike to you? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I love it. CBO, stand by. CBO. <laughs> now, up until two years ago, I didn't know what a CBO was. Um, <laughs> how long have you been riding a motorcycle? 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Right. About 20 years. Um, yes. I was about to say, how's your slow speed riding? But you're on a trike now, so <laughs> yes. you don't have to worry about that. However, <laughs> no. you know, interestingly oh, man. enough, the rules still apply as far as the clutch control. Rear brake. Only issue is you're not gonna fall, so that's good. That's correct. You liking it? I love it. You love it. I love it. I can't it. wait to see you pull off. I just want to see. Actually, I want to get a picture of you on it. Okay. Right? And this is mom? Yes, it is. Hi, mom. What's your name? Mary. Mary, I'm Robert. Nice to meet you, Mary. <laughs> Were you on the back of this trike? Yes. Woo! Oh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. What's your name, man? Zo. Zo? Zo. Which one is yours? We're right behind the trike. Right behind the trike. Oh, right. oh, yes. It's beautiful. What is it? Uh, it's uh, ultra limited. I know what year. 2014. Ultra limited. Are right, we gonna go take a look at every back? Oh, it's looking nice. What's that? 21? 21 on the front? Yes. You got air suspension on this? How do I know, guys? Because look how low it is to the ground. <laughs> oh, yes. We gotta look at the. All right, all right, all right. No changes yet to the CBO trike. Notice I said yet. Pipes. Are you gonna change the pipes? Lights. I already did the pipes. Oh, okay. Lights. Next to sound Oh, you already did the lights. It, well, it, inside lights. Oh, like the accent lights and stuff? Yes. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. So if you look at my... The only light that's still Harley Davidson on this motorcycle is this one. And that's getting changed right now because they just came out with it. So other than that, custom dynamics, baby. Bike looks good, man. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best. How's your slow speed skill? Slow speed, 9. 9? Okay, yeah, we definitely got to talk to him. <laughs> How are we going to talk to you? What's your name, sir? My name is Tony. Tony, is that your alias or your real name? <laughs> it's one I'm using for Sunday. <laughs> and I know this is yours. That is correct, sir. This is your CVO 2017, right? 16, 16. 16, okay. Very good. 12 inches? Yes, sir. All right, I, just changed, I just changed mine to 12. We're all of a difference, man. All right, 1 to 10, 10 being the best. How would you rate this slow speed skill? 5. 5, okay. 5 is excellent. Still waiting to see it, man. Yeah, it's in my mind. Five it's in your mind. mind. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'll come to school with it. Stop telling me you're gonna come and don't show up. Oh man, I'm starting I said to think you're coming. I mean, I'm starting to think you owe me money. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Keep saying he's coming. He's not coming. I come in the field. What's your name, sir? Mike. Mike, which one is yours? Oh, you leading the pack. What we got here? What is it? Uh, 16 CBO. 16 CBO. How many CBOs we got out here? One, two, three, four, five. Is that it? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, 
Looking good, looking good. One to ten, ten being the best, how would you reach your slow speed skills? A good nine. A nine? All right, we got two nines out here. That is excellent, man. All right, and what's your name, good man? Knight. What is it? Knight. Knight. Yeah. What are you riding today? Blue, uh, that blue pretty one? Yeah. Ah, it's beautiful. I kind I like the way they look more from the back, from the side, but that, that's beautiful. Let me go look at it. I'll be right back, man. Can't get that way. Can't just be a regular road glide. This is nice, too. What is it, 23? No, no, I mean the wheel. 26? I wasn't even close. All right, now I see it. Look at that, guys. 26. Air suspension, of course. Those are at least 14-inch bars. 14-inch on the bars? 14-inch on the bars? I got something right. All right, so now I have to ask you, how would you rate yourself slow speed on that motorcycle? And does that 26 inch wheel make anything any more difficult, making turns, U-turns? Just a little. Just a little, okay. All right, so you guys are on point. All three of you guys are, you're, dude, you're riding with excellence. Excellent, these guys are motor officer status. I wouldn't say all that. You, they, bo they all three of them said they're nines. I'm, well, they, yeah, I'm riding with them, right, correct. Yeah. I'm riding with them. Yeah, so they, I'm telling you, you're riding with guys that are motor officer status. That's what's up, man. Um, are you guys subscribed to my channel? Yeah, please do, man, because I have to tell you, man, I would love to see that, man, share it with the with Preloader Nation. A nine, I've n I haven't seen that yet. Not yet, so. Uh, yeah. I used to do everything. I would oh, my gosh. We got to find an empty parking lot before we leave here. <laughs> Actually, right across the street, we're going to the parking lot because if you're a nine, I have to sh share this with Preloader Nation, especially on that and... You know, because your motorcycles are beautiful, too, so... I always say, I don't care how good the motorcycle is if you're duck walking it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you can have the crappiest motorcycle. You, you pull in that parking lot and make a U-turn like this, everybody's going to be looking at you. Not the guy with the pretty bike. All right, guys, I'm going to go eat. Pleasure meeting all of you. Mom, definitely a pleasure meeting you. And I got to get a picture of you and your daughter on this pretty trike. Look at this thing, man. Woo! All right, guys, we're inside. Getting ready to eat. Place looks like not too bad. There's actually plenty of seats in here, but I think some people are choosing to eat outside. Uh, it's a beautiful day, so beautiful day. So I was outside talking to preloaders and interviewing people. Everybody else came in and they already ordered their food. They got their number already. They give you a number. They put it on the table and they'll bring the food out to you. So, so I'm behind in the line, but it, it's moving pretty quickly. I think I'm gonna get a brisket sandwich. Okay, so here's the menu. I'm not getting a salad, I'm not getting any dessert. Go over to the sandwiches. I've had the pork sandwich before, that's also, that's good. You can get a sandwich or you can get it on a plate. So right there they have the beef brisket. It says sliced or chopped, served on a toasted bun. Look at this turkey club. Bacon, I don't eat lettuce, I don't eat tomatoes. Red onions, cheese, and honey mustard. I don't want any honey mustard on white bread. Maybe I'll try the turkey, who knows? Try something different here. But I feel like if I'm gonna come to a, a barbecue place, I don't want turkey, I want, I want beef, I want red meat, or I want pork. It's a steak sandwich. I don't eat fish. Alright, 
So that's pretty much the menu. I think I'm gonna stick with the brisket. It's a U-turn, that's all. All right, guys, so Camillo left. Um, the other preloaders that are actually from South Carolina, they left, James left. And Camillo and his wife are actually going someplace in South Carolina to do some shopping. And we were gonna go with them, but um, Dave said that, you know, he was gonna head back because he wanted to meet up with his son. And I'm like, I'm not gonna let Dave ride back by himself. That doesn't make any sense. We came together, we're gonna ride back. So, so this is what we have left. We have Larry, who Larry just became a VI preloader. There he is right here. So we got Larry, we got Dave, we got Kevin, we got the other Kevin, and we got me. All right, that's what's headed back to Pula. All right, so, so people are gonna wrap up some last minute things. The food was good as it always is here. Um, I had french fries and a brisket sandwich, like I said. The sweet tea, which is, they, it needs to be called sweet tea, because it's mad sweet. This guy, when are you gonna give me my push-ups you owe me? When you want me to give you a give you back? Right here, man. When you give right here, man? Yeah, not on the rocks. Oh. Right on the hey. ground. Good, uh, man. Hey. The rocks no, don't tough. do it on the rocks. Uh, the rocks is tough. No, then you ain't gonna be able to feel your handlebars on the way home. <laughs> you don't want that, man. Matter of fact, I don't want you slip I don't even want you slipping. Get off the rocks. Yeah, now you now you want me off the rocks? That's it. Fifteen. I, I usually like to do it on my motorcycle. Fifteen push-ups for every minute you were late. No, you do it by your motorcycle when you when you when you grab the front brake. These are tardy push-ups. Nah, face this way, man. Because you're gonna be in the dirt putting your hands right there near the gutter. There you go. Hey, there you go. That's what I mean. Alright, well we're ready. Ready. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four. Good job. Up. Oh, listen, there's no rollover push-ups. They gave us 20. All right. That's for being late. The other, the extra five was for the, the extra five was for the poor excuse. And he did it with a mask on. Yeah. The extra five push-ups were for the poor excuse for being late. Yeah. Blaming his wife. I was pushing down. He added to it. I want a definitely full tank now. <laughs>
All right, guys, here's what I'm dealing with. I asked that man because we had to stop for gas. He, he pulled up next to me honking his horn saying, I need gas. And we were, when we left, we left from a gas station. He didn't fill up his tank. So when we stopped for gas, I asked him, do we, I said, did you leave with a full tank? And his answer was yes. Cause the cup, of course, if he said no, I was going to curse him out because we were in a gas station. So now I said to him, okay, when we leave, when I'm at a half a tank, I'll pull over because you're going to need gas. And his answer was, no, I'm not going to need gas. So I said, well, why wouldn't you need gas? If you left with a full tank and you needed gas when I had a half a tank, why would it be any different? Now, all of a sudden, he didn't have a full tank when we left. So, so now I have to take everything you say with a grain of salt. No, the difference was this. The full tank I had, I rode on that several um, twice. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, uh -oh. stop. <laughs> oh, 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 so what we have here, once again with Kevin, is a failure to communicate. <laughs> what does a full tank mean? It means full. He said, I rode before on a full tank. That means your tank's not full anymore, correct? Your motorcycle runs on gas. If you run it, it's using it, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I say, he's going to turn. So he knows, so basically, he knows damn well, he knows damn well that when we left that gas station from Pooler, he should have been filling up his tank instead of running his mouth. And that's why he needed gas. Now the truth comes out. See what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? Because Camillo had to fill up his tank, so that's but, where we but, stopped. But I still was on him. <laughs> that's what you call wrong and strong, people. Wrong and strong. He gonna try to lie and deny. Lie and deny. You said it was on F. Let's look at your let's look at your gauge. Let's look at that. Where's your gas gauge? It's up here, right? Yeah, reach down on the side, turn the key. You know what? You know. <laughs> Look, oh, well, it's definitely going to be on F now. Okay. If, if it's on F, you know what that F stands for? It should be on FL. That's what it should be on. Well, you got to think. Freaking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it at? <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> okay, so you're going by those little dots. <laughs> right. Okay, so I know you've been out of the motorcycle riding thing for a while. So here's a... <laughs> Here's a tip. If you're going on a motorcycle ride for two hours, top off your tank, even if you see it's full on that. Right. That's, that's a tip. Because it wasn't top off. That means it wasn't full. But it's registered full. This is a Suzuki Boulevard, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys are some shit. Just asking. All right. So, are you telling me that you can only ride that distance before you need gas? If the answer is no, then it wasn't full. Okay. And. I, I got to talk know. to the other Kevin too because he filled up. I don't know if he need. Actually, he but did. Hey Kevin, yes, when you left, was your tank full? Yes. <laughs> and you had your gas light on? It came down two bars. Two bars. So you didn't. You weren't in like jeopardy. No, no, no. Like this mother father was. No. He over there lying and denying, man. Oh, lying and denying. So he went, because he knew I was going to get in his ass, telling me he needs gas. Well, we left from a gas station, and instead of filling up, he run in his mouth. Now, if we would have kept riding, I would have made it here. Bullshit. Look, why blink, why, when yours blink when it hits the last time? Okay, I don't know how far you can get when it blink. I wouldn't have taken no chance, because I would have never lived it down. If I'd have kept going, and that's just a Robin would have ate me alive. You got to think about this. I used to always tell people, if you are tardy, you've already brought attention to yourself. From after that, you should be, everything should be perfect. You the one need gas. You lying and denying. <laughs> he should know by now, you ain't going to be able to lie to me. Now, how many, you got five gears on your motorcycle or six? Okay. Because I heard you say, and I had it in fifth gear. Yeah, you got five gears or six on yours? Okay. All right, y'all ready to hit the road? Yeah. If I add his, I have ten. So, uh, we gonna stop the top off if we hit the road then? Yeah, we gonna stop. We, are, we definitely are.
Woo! All right, guys. That was fun. The weather was good. The weather was perfect, actually, just perfect. So, um, all I have to say, guys, is, oh, more importantly, the hips are good. And that's the most important thing. And that's what I was worried about the most, you know, how my hips are gonna hold up. So, uh, not bad at all. Uh, a little bit of discomfort, but you know what? Discomfort is better than pain. Um, so, we stopped once on the way down there. Uh, did we stop once on the way? Yeah, we stopped once on the way back just to get some gas. Uh, but just a good ride. I got bugs all over the front of the motorcycle. And I didn't think I was going to see that because it's not really that hot, but it's, it's warm enough, obviously, for them to still be out there. So, but all in all, had a blast. Awesome meeting the preloaders out there that came. They're already in South Carolina to meet me at the restaurant. The food was good, but the food is always secondary. Pleasure meeting the new preloaders. And when I say new preloaders, people that just became preloaders today from this meeting out at South Carolina. And VI preloader. Larry became a VI preloader. And he's going to be coming to the next practice session, which is going to be on Sunday. So, oh man, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Um, I'm excited because that's the longest I've ridden this or any of my motorcycles since I've owned them. And um, I, I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm doing anything with that kind of distance and time, it's going to be on violet and that's what this motorcycle is all about right that's kevin leaving uh just multiple violations multiple infractions and i'm not talking about traffic violations i'm talking about <laughs> violations that he should be doing push-ups for right he's already done 15 actually he did 20. um <laughs> but that's my boy that's my boy one thing is he, he's accountable so if he if he screws something up he'll try to lie his way out like i said he was lying and denying <laughs> But eventually he'll do his push-ups because I'm always going to back him into a corner because you can't hide from the truth, right? Especially when it's smacking you right in the face. And he knows me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a word guy. So if you say something to me, it's got to make sense. My brain's already analyzing what you're saying and putting it through the bullshit mill to see what comes out on the other side. And with Kevin, it's always bullshit. <laughs> All right, guys. So again, that's going to do it for me. I'm, I'm very excited. You know, I'm not coming back like this. Oh, God. You know, I, I feel good. So, and like I said before, guys, the riding season might be over where you are, but it's all year round here in Pula, Georgia. So, I say that to say, I'm having practice sessions pretty much every week. Put your motorcycle in the trailer if you have one. If you don't have one, go to the U-Haul store and rent one and get your ass down here and practice. Let's have some fun. All right, guys? Because in practicing is fun, absolutely. But... At the end of the day, guys, it's also about the camaraderie, hanging out with you guys, breaking bread with you guys, all right? And why should you wait a whole winter, if you don't have to, to make that happen? I also want to send a shout out to the guys in South Carolina that told me they were a nine. So I kept calling them 27 because it was three of them that said they rated themselves a nine in slow speed riding skills. And we went out in the parking lot. I told them we got to go to the, there was a food line parking lot right next door to the restaurant. Let's go to that parking lot. And they were like, all right, we're getting ready to leave. I said, listen, I'm coming. We're going to the parking lot. And they go, no, 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 eat your food. I said, damn this food. I, I mean, yes, we came here to eat, but this is secondary to meeting you guys, hanging out. And if you tell me you're a nine, that becomes a priority. Let's go to the parking lot and see what you got. Um, and again, it's not, for, it's not competition based, but I told them, if you say you're a nine, Preloader Nation wants to see that. You just have to know Preloader Nation wants to see that. And then we can talk to you and you can share some stuff with us, right? But... They were good sports. They went out there. They did what they had to do. Um, and of course, I saw some stuff, you know, the head and the eyes, and then the, the rear brake stuff. So, But all in all, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not a nine, but not bad at all. Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have, less time complaining about the things that you don't. I want to send a special shout out to my brothers and sisters in blue. Guys, please be careful out there and know that you're appreciated. Special shout out to the NYPD Highway Patrol the elite NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Unit, particularly Highway 1, because that's where I worked, and the Motorcycle District. That's where the school is. That's who taught me how to ride these motorcycles the way I ride them. But guys, it doesn't end there. As I always say, this is a perishable skill, and you have to practice. You have to stay on top of this, because if you don't, you're going to lose parts of it. That's true with most things. But in particular, definitely with this. All right, guys? So please, practice, 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 practice. Preload and keep it loaded. And practice, practice, practice some more. 
because practice breeds confidence, and a confident rider is not only a safer rider, it's a rider that's going to actually enjoy riding this motorcycle way more. I'm guaranteeing that, guys. Guaranteeing it. Until next time.